Alright, gonna do another review. This time it's Genesee Ice. Oh, for some reason, I don't know. Run out of shit to drink. What does it even say? 5.5? Why is my camera all blurry? First time I even had a Genesee was not very long ago. Remember, I did a video of it. I said, I pulled up a picture of the can so you can see what it looks like. Well, it's pretty just basic. It says Genesee and then beer. That's it. Pretty basic beer can. This one's a little more lively. It's got the white banner around the Genesee. It says ice with some little exclamations next to it. Kind of just flare. All right, well, also very injured. I made this makeshift wife beater ice pack thing to wrap around my fucking knee. Huh. Gonna be, gonna be laid up. Might as well be laid up with some goddamn beers. That first Genesee I drank was actually like one of the smooth ones, I think. I have to rewatch my review and see what the hell I really thought about it, what I remember I think about it. Well, I'm expecting big things out of this. I'm expecting to be a nice beer, but I'm expecting it not to be so shitty. That first Genesee I had was really, really impressive for a cheap beer. I think these were 192 or 129 a piece, two for 250 or something like that. Something like two for 225 or some shit like that. Something cheap. So I bought one of these and I bought the cream ale, which I'll do later. I never had that one either. No. We'll see what happens, what becomes of this. Genesee beer over 125 years. Alright, I guess there's some history here. <sighs> Not as smooth as that regular Genesee I had. I don't know why people just write ice on the beer. It's like they accidentally fuck up and make a shitty beer, so like, oh, just write ice on it. A little stronger and nastier. Yeah, it's definitely a nasty version of the Genesee I had before. Well, uh, definitely had worse. It was actually sold when I tried that Hurricane, that Hurricane Category 5 again. Yeah, it's definitely more bitter than when I did the review, man. Once I did Stone Sober, yeah, it wasn't very good. It wasn't very good. Uh. Uh, let's see, Genesee beer. Wikipedia. Let's see what Wikipedia has to say about this shit. Uh, let's try this sucker again. Uh, American Brewing Company, located along the Genesee River in Rochester, New York. In 1878, Genesee Brewing Company moved into Rochester. From 2000 to 2009, the company was known as the High Falls Brewing Company. In 2009, High Falls was acquired by the capital investment firm KPS Capital, together with also newly acquired Labatt USA. KPS merged the two companies as North American Breweries. Along with this change, High Falls Brewery changed back its name to the original Genesee Brewing Company, operating under the North American Brewery's name. In October 2012, North American Brewery's company was purchased by Cerveceria Costa Rica SA, sixth largest brewing company in America by sales volume. Huh? Well, I guess it's sold from New York, upstate New York. Wow. Definitely not a really good beer. Definitely not something I'm proud of drinking right now. I'm not sure what a cream ale is. But I'll figure that out once I get to that one. I might just do that one right here next. <sighs> I'm making some time off though after this one before I drink another one. It was a long crappy day at work, but I got through it and I'm here. I'm gonna ice down my damn leg, chill for a little bit. Ugh. By the way, my shirt says I'm awesome. It's got my favorite number on the back. 4-0, motherfucker. Let's probably start reviewing 40 soon. All right, well, overall, pretty good beer, man. I like the green Genesee better. Not the green one. Whatever color it was, it's the regular white. Let me try the green one next. All right, thanks for watching.